Watch your pockets, look out for spell rights, because this week we're talking about Unsounded. Well, since it's summer, I got kicked out of my other studio, so I got a new one. Check out this new background, guys. And this week we're talking about Unsounded, an epic fantasy webcomic about Seti and Dwayne as they go on a quest to collect a debt from her cousin, Stockyard, for her father, the leader of a powerful crime family. This webcomic is a graphic novel created by Ashley Cope, a fantasy-loving 30-something from Central Florida. And she's been making it for years now, has stuck to a strict schedule, and let me tell you more about it. Unsounded has a graphic novel style. I recommend it for this polished art that has continued through the entire webcomic and will be continued to improve itself as time goes on. It really does show the fantasy elements and the spell work and all the little details that sell what it does. And another thing that I love is the epic fantasy setting that there's so much to not only in the wiki but also in the comic to explore and think about such as the cure t of where all spell work comes from, spell rights, each country's cast structure. It is all very interesting to dive into. And lastly, and most importantly, this has very consistent updates. She has a strict schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You'll get a new page with a month break in between chapters. And she does stick to the schedule for years. This is a cool webcomic I want to show to you guys. It is freaking badass. I also find it amazing that this is free. Anyone can look at it from anywhere in the world as long as they can access the internet. One thing I love about this information age and this modern technology mumbo jumbo is how fans can now support projects like this. Yes, there's Kickstarter and Patreon, but also being able to set up a tip jar and make a living off it. The quality of this is amazing. Cope's skill as a storyteller and an artist really does come through this work. You have pictures that are painted that seemingly frame by frame. You have a massive world to dive into, both the, of what's on the paper and outside of it in the wiki that has been confirmed by her. Not to mention her strict schedule, which not all webcomic artists can sustain. She has continued to do so for years and years, and has probably found a nice routine in that. This is one thing I love about the current system being put in place in the comics industry, and as a part, the webcomics industry, that you can now finally support niche audiences. Because I don't believe that when it was first starting out, Unsounded could have survived as merely as a print volume. With a online audience supporting her through that front, she would had the freedom to continue to update at her own pace, to create at her own pace, to create a quality story that she's satisfied with. And I don't believe that merely through the print volumes that she does put out as through her store and through Kickstarters for her webcomic that on its own it would be able to survive. I feel that this is incredibly worn out as I say it since I am really into the online presences and all these details but a fact now is that niche audiences can now survive because of the online medium. From a storytelling standpoint, I love how she takes advantage of the subtle borders at times to use the magic to go beyond the panels or the coloring to establish how ethereal the carrot is, of how magic comes into this world and comes out and what is in fact of that. But I'm not talking about that since you can already find that in the first chapter of the webcomic. So please enjoy Unsounded if you love that good old fantasy feel in your tinglies. And enjoy until next time.